Right, West Ham Fan TV, I'm here with Dom. Dom, no negatives today, mate. No negatives. I want positives. You got you come on. What a performance, mate. Magnifico. <laughs> Magnifico. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh mate. But what Dom, was, what was I mean, out? did we see that coming, mate? Especially at half time, did Sorry. you see that coming? Um, no. Because I thought we'd crumble. Because yeah. we, we let we when we won one nil up, we deserved it. Come forward a bit, Dom. Sorry. <laughs> we when we won one nil up, we deserved it. Yeah. But then we, what I finished by Noble, by the way. Yeah. I thought it was going wild. I thought, here we go, side net in dodgy angle and all that. But no, no, we've done well. But um, we let them back into the game. And to be honest, that come out, their goal come out of nowhere. And then towards the end of the first half, and that half went on for five minutes longer, we probably would have been 2-1 down. Because yeah. we, uh, we looked like we were going to crumble. Half-time came at the perfect time. And they're all of a sudden 2-1. I mean, what a goal that is. Yeah, right I now. mean, sometimes, yeah, we come out and we're straight off the blocks and we and out of it. It's what a finish. Take you around the defender. Brilliant great brilliant finish. Improvisation. Yeah. Up and over. Magnificent. <laughs> I mean, it's worth the wait. You know, it's obviously it's obviously taken time. It's taken time for him to uh, find his feet here. You know, he was he was terrible when uh, Billich was here. Moyes has done magnificent with him. Turned him round and like it's been, it's worth the wait now. Like we've we've seen we've seen what he can do. Everyone was saying he's too hot, too cold. But the thing is with us, right? He's doing it consistently. Magnificent. Him and Lanzini tore him a new one. Absolutely magnificent. I was going to say them two look like they've got a little um, connection going now. You know, that Lanzini's day was unbelievable. Well, two of the best players. Yeah. The way they just went right on the counter attack, it was just terrifying. I mean, it's like if I'm, today reminded me. Like I know how it's reminded me of Pyatt today. The way he uh, moved yeah, yeah, the ball, yeah. the way he went forward, definitely. Scott chipped in two goals. Uh, did he get the? Two assists or was it just the one? I think it was, uh, no, it was the one assist. Yeah, one assist. Well, we'll find out later on. But no, it was, it was absolutely magnificent. Not a bad word to say about today. Um, what about a uh, mention for Ginge and Creswell coming in at the back? Both solid performances yeah, today? Colin, Collins is always solid when he yeah. comes in. He's been in and out of the team. You know, he's got he's been injury prone this season. But whenever he plays, he's magnificent. Puts his, head, puts his heart and soul in it. Noble, we looked so much better with Noble in that midfield today. Yeah. Gearing everyone up, cheering them on. You saw at the end, he, Collins went down injured. He told him to get up, carry yeah, on. That's with one it. thing with Noble. That's, even, what we, that's what we miss without Noble in that team. Even when Noble, like even when someone like Masawaku comes around and does a challenge, he's straight up to Masawaku, tapping him on the back. You know, but he's a proper captain, isn't he? The thing with Masawaku, right? He's a good player, but he's too greedy, and he thinks he's too good for him. He's, he thinks he's better than what he is. A lot of the times, he's got the ball in our own half, in the in our, in our own box, and he's trying to dribble it out. You know. Luckily, luckily, no, no, he didn't come. Luckily, he wasn't punished. But on another day, he would have been. But old team, old team was magnificent yeah, that, today. Um, look, it's three points, four goals on the road. We move up the table now. I think we're up to eleventh. Someone said, I think yeah, we're yeah. up to eleventh. You know, still we're all tight going. though. Still tight though. Yeah, but we've got take away the FA Cup during the week. We've got Bournemouth at home and then Palace at home in the league. They're two massive games. Massive yeah, we games. got we got to push on though, right? Because yeah. we're too Jekyll and Hyde. You know, like you say, you didn't see it coming today, did you? No. I don't think anyone did. I thought we might nick a cheeky win. You know, we're capable of beating a team like Huddersfield. I know they're good at home and all that, but we are still capable. But like I say, we're too Jekyll and I. Like, wouldn't surprise if we go to Bournemouth and lose, lose next week, to be honest. Like, we are that sort of team. But we're four, was it four, three, four unbeaten in the league now? So, you know, looking up. We still need players, though. Yeah. I'm not, this I'm, is, I'm not gonna. I'm this not is gonna, one thing I'm I was gonna, gonna say. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna just like say, oh, it's all right. Yeah. Goal. I gold, hope this gold, win don't. Gold, gold will be tweeting tonight because we've won. Yeah. Gold can fuck off because that win belongs to us today. You no know? negatives. No negatives. No, forget, no, but, but, we, but we do need players. Yeah, we, of course we, we do. do need players. And I, I hope that this know. don't. Yeah. Paper over the cracks that we don't have to get anyone in. But let's let's enjoy the win. Yeah. Let's get down to business because we still need players, right? You know, we're gonna come up against stronger opposition than Huddersfield. And if we don't have new players, you know. But listen, fantastic today. Every, each 11 player out there was absolutely superb. Gone. Loved it. You, you, ain't, you ain't seen this yet, but you'll watch it later. Chris Agabusa, we interviewed after, and he's got a little message for you. So watch the fan cam. Yeah. yeah don't worry, mate. Watch the fan cam. <laughs> I look forward to that. Oh, Come on, you irons. Sorry.